Hello and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to create a new mission today. So we're going to still break away from all the serious stuff. We're going to create a new mission it'll be cool. So the mission I've created or going to create is called Sort Bandits and it's going to show you how to check when um, multiple enemies are dead. So say we shoot five enemies, it's gone. Mission complete. So here's the scroll I'm going to use. It's going to be another wall one. Take out the bandits. Some local bandits have taken upon themselves to take over the cabin northeast of here. That's the ease. I need to change that to east. Take them out. Mission get rid of the bandits by any means necessary. I've put by any means necessary because then in the future we could make it so you can either bargain with them, bribe them, or kill them. Whichever way you want to go. So it adds options to our game, which then evolves into karma system if you want it. So, you will get 300 coins, it'll be straight up, no, you have to go and talk to such and such. As soon as you kill them, that's it, gold's in your bank. That cool. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is actually just put our bandits over here. So I'm going to grab these two here, so civilian, farmer, and we'll grab the death king one here. So the civilian male, we'll grab all these and we'll duplicate them and then drag it out and I'll drag them all the way over here so we'll put them near where they need to be so here because the bandits do attack in this cabin northeast this is the cabin so I'm going to rotate every single one of them 180 and I'm going to say they're all called bandit just because like that so we have our king here he'll be guarding he can be at the back here we have his minions here guarding him and then we duplicate the minions and they can be guarding those minions because you can boom so now it's got a little bit different all everyone's there there's the bandits we have to kill the bandits so we go back to our missions and we duplicate this scroll here so duplicate and we'll rename it to what this scroll is called, so 0 0.2 sort bandits. There. And I'm going to attach the material for this. We'll drag it across a bit so we can see it. So we'll drag the 0 0.2 material on it. But as you can see, it replaces them both, which is not what we want. So we go back to materials, duplicate the material, assign it, assign it, and then we'll actually assign the material to it. See, now we've got two different ones. So we'll drag it across, but currently this mission has apples inside it. That's not what we want. We want bandits. So we'll add, grab our bandits, make them disabled, and add it to it. Just like that. So now we have our bandits. So when we enable the bandits, it enables them, we kill them, it's done. Perfect. So we've technically already still got all the code we need. So if we go back to our mission script, and here we have our mission actual script, we'll duplicate it and rename it and then add it back to it and here perfect so we'll import everything we need here so we need GUI text from our HUDs so GUI text and player information the scroll is we need a big version of the scroll to show so there the textures will automatically be assigned and the apples we need to change so we're going to go in and we're going to rename it so we're going to copy the word apples press control F and we'll go to find and replace so every time it says apples I'm going to change it to bandits and replace all six occurrences so every time it now says bandit apples it says bandits which is really what we need so we'll wait for it to load and it should show bandits here so we can attach our bandits to this apples array. So we'll go in and make it 5 and we'll attach all our bandits to it. So there's our bandits so we can enable all them when it starts. So we're going to go up here and press start. Perfect. So it comes down first and we now have links to the farmer so we need to get rid of that because as soon as you do it it's no one's mission it's just get rid of the bandits so we can get rid of any link we've got to the farmer so the salt one what I've just got rid of is basically saying if you kill him you lose okay so we come down 
this first one says if mission active is false and then yep we've got if the player is in range of it yes we press Q it activates the mission it shows it, it shows the mission scroll the mission scroll is here it shows it and if we click begin quest it turns off the mission scroll and activates the mission so mission active the mission active starts up here so just below where we originally were if mission active equals true then it spawns all the bandits makes them all active perfect we know that works fine then it'll come down here and say if the player has more than four five apples then mission requirements is true it's that else it equals false okay so it's constantly checking this we now need here to check if the bandits are all dead okay so we come down here and we'll type for var y equals zero y is less than bandits.length i plus plus y plus plus so what we're going to do here is basically we're going to check every single one of those arrays so five people and you can do this two ways you can either do an if statement if this bandit is dead 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 and then we're going to decrease this an integer so uh, well the way we're going to do it so if um, this integer is less than zero, 1 so if it's 0 or if it equals 0 all bandits are dead mission complete easy enough so in here we're going to type four bandits blah 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 if bandits bracket y so the bandit we're currently checking equals null then we're going to we need to create an integer for it so above here we'll type var bandits underscore killed equals well bandits alive equals five so we've got five bandits alive correct so we scroll down we'll make it a private var five bandits alive down here bandits minus minus so decrease it by one perfect but what about if it finds one saying it's alive so it's still there then it's going to leave bandits alive and then the next time it comes to check it it won't work so it just keep checking it and just keep decreasing it so it's not what we want so instead we'll set bandits alive to equals to bandits dot length so we reset that one and then we need to stop the for loop so y equals zero well bandits dot length so basically why we're doing this is it's a little error to stop in the future it'll come down and say right we've killed one bandit that's our scenario right is that bandit alive no so decrease it correct it comes down again is it alive yes well then it's just if we didn't have that else statement it just okay it's alive so what then it comes back around again is the third one alive yeah fourth fifth then as it comes back around again for its update loop it'll come is it alive no the first one's still gone decrease it anyway that's not what we want we want it to say if it's alive then reset it not all bandits are dead so it'll keep resetting it and we're setting y to bandits.length because then it finishes the for loop and carries on an easy way to determine this is if we get bandits and make it a normal var we'll be able to see it in the inspector so what happens when all bandits are dead let's have a look so down here we type if bandits alive equals zero so if we've killed all bandits then it's mission complete isn't it I believe so so we copy all this big chunk here and the reason we're using this one is because on this one it comes down um, if the t player has five apples or more um, objective complete mission requirements true it comes down here if mission requirements equals true and he's near the farmer activate it but we're not having the farmer in ours so we can get rid of all this up here all the way to up here boom so 91 words and we'll have a full mission so it comes down scan all the bandits decrease it if the bandits alive equals zero then we paste all this in we don't need to decrease us of apples because we've already got apples so we can get rid of that it increases our money by 300 because that's what it was it'll show mission complete and it'll destroy whatever script we attach to it so we need to attach the correct script so this one here and by script I mean scroll I'll try and specify that boom 
destroy this scroll, it'll destroy all the bandits in the process. Mission complete. Perfect. So, where's our mission requirements? Because we don't need that no more, as you can see, it's not used. So we can get rid of that. Everything else is used. Except the textures, we can get rid of that because we're not linking to our item stats. So player's money increases. Yep. Perfect. Let's give it a blast. So we should be able to see the whole process. If it's a little bit fast, have a look. You'll easily be able to break it down. There's nothing complex there. It's just assigning things. So we'll play. It works. And you'll see all these bandits will light up when we go up and click on this scroll. So no, I don't want to. We have an array out of exception. So let's go and have a look. This is item stats. This is because I added something to the space tutorial. Don't worry about it. Just click refresh. If you didn't follow the space tutorial, you won't have a clue what that means. Just honestly, it is there. So it works. We go up here. And we'll leave the speed potions because we're too crazy. And activate mission. We'll activate this one. Take out the bandits. Some local bandits, blah, blah. Begin quest. The bandits are now active. So I'm going to speed this bit up until I run up and get them. So I'll be back in a minute. Boom. Did I scare you? The bandits, he scared us. Let's shoot them. So we'll shoot this one. So as you can see, it's done it. Uh, my falcon punch is messing it up. But it's not killing it. Why? That's because we've made it so fall down, he's on fire. That's not what we need. So we need to edit our to make it so if the bandits are like life, their bandit life is dead. Because if we look at this one, enemy life equals zero, we're not checking that no more. So we're gonna go back to our for loop here where we've said is the bandits active. Here. And we need to change it. So we're gonna put if bandits dot transform in fact we'll put transform dot f I apologize bandits dot transform dot find and then we'll type the name of it so entity so we're searching from this bandit to entity dot get component dot well not dot we need to now put what component we're gonna get so we're gonna go in from this bandit to grab the entity, to grab the land um, enemy collisions, so paste that there, dot, and now we need to get the enemy life, so I'm just making sure I get everything right, so enemy life, so if bandits blah 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 dot enemy life equals zero, so if he's dead, bandits alive minus minus, else bandits alive blah blah. So now that longish if statement should work. So transform.find will find inside of bandits. So bandits transform.find entity. But after this, we need to put dot game object. Otherwise, it won't find it because a transform doesn't have components on it. A game object has components. So it's just error proning there. But if we currently just go to play now, it'll throw an error and not work. The reason is because bandits here is not actually, well, it's not like, um, bandits is not a game object, it's an array. And we need to activate the individual, individual objects in order to find the entity to find the life. life. So instead of putting bandits, we put bandits y then that way we'll be searching the individual objects getting the life if it equals zero it'll decrease the bandits alive then as soon as the bandits alive equals but da, 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 where is it here zero it'll increase our money mission complete etc so let's go and try it so we click play and then we find our mission so bandits alive equals five and we go, I'll quickly get these. So, buh, buh, buh. we go up, press Q, begin quest. We zoom up here. I've used the potions to go up there faster. So, we see the bandits, they're here. So, let's go and start shooting them. So, this one, 
I'll mute the audio here just because it gets annoying saying Falcon Punch all the time. So as you can see, we're on the last bandit, but it still says five. And the reason is, is my unit is crashing. Because if you watch, I'll shoot him, mute the audio. So last one, we shoot him. Mission complete, perfect. All bandits have disappeared. We've got our money, it's collected it. So it works perfectly. Um, the fireballs are messing up, someone's pointed out as well. It keeps going below the character. We are going to fix that eventually, I will explain to you later where it is. We will make it one day so you can. Um, you need to finish this mission to get this mission. It'll work like that. Thank you for watching, please join my Facebook group and I'll see you next time.